What's going on everyone, everywhere, never fear, look at Jay's here, back with another sneaker review. Today I'm bringing a pickup that I got from my wife, and it's the first pair that I've ever bought from this company. Now I've been eyeing it for about a year or two, you know, Roger Federer left Nike and he linked up with them, and recently Kiff released a Kiff exclusive Roger Federer, all white and green sneaker, basically. And really thinking about those. It's just more of like another white and green sneaker. That means I'd have to get rid of another sneaker I have that's white and green. And the, the mesh material on that one looks pretty bright white. And yeah, I just, I'm like, I don't know. I want to get it. It looks really good. I love it how the silhouette looks I like what on's doing which I will get into with these and so my wife was like oh one new pair of sneakers and she really likes the Adidas NMD more in the 1.0 upper used from the ultra boost so it has this new knitted material that the first time I saw it when I got her that pair was through the Amaman years which I have those I should have opened up so and then I got her a gray pair, which I did a review. I put the link up there on those, the ones that are there. I think like two years ago. And so that style, she likes that NMD. Now, yes, there's NMDs and there's newer updated NMDs, which she's seen, but like, I don't know. She didn't say, oh yeah, the, I like those, but I was more of like, I wanna get on. I like the outsole, midsole design that they do. It's lightweight. Just everything that they do is not like made very cheaply. Like you could get a knockoff from wherever and they'll make it re real cheap. Like with these, they, I feel like the style that they make them, they, they put a little bit of quality is what I would say. Two of them and the tech, I don't know, the patent pending. I don't even know whatever they did for the outsoles. I have never even tried them on. I just know that they look comfortable. And let's get into it. Enough of talking about the reasons why I got into getting her pair on. Uh, so she likes predominantly uh, all black sneakers. And the one in recent years was the... It was the Climate Cool Ultra Boost. She really liked those a lot. I've gotten her the Packers Ultra Boost 1.0s and the Silver Metal uh, 2.0 Ultra Boost. So I, I liked to pick Adidas for hers. I picked up a couple Yeezys, the Yeezy 500s. I got her the, the 350 V2 in the, the Oak colorway. I forgot the name, the MX Oak, I think it's called. Yeah. And so they got this nice little box here. You know, it fades. And here's your tag there. It is the On um, Cloud Nova Void. And it's Eclipse and Undyed White. Made in Vietnam. It has this little spiel about how they recycle and stuff like that. And then you got your three headquarters here one in Germany, one in Switzerland, and one in the US. So I'll get you an up close look. You can see that. And then your white tissue paper with what looks to be like like a gray on pattern going throughout, which is nice. I like it. And here they are. Woo! Yeah, here they are. And with this pair, so this is the pair that I saw on the wall here like this. And so it doesn't have the little hit like this one has. And then when I got them in the um, like both pairs and I pulled them out, just looking at them, I was like, oh, I like this little hit. Just this little hit, it's fire. It made this shoe even more fire. And that was after I picked it. So I like this touch. You got your whole Swiss engineering and your little, little plus sign right there in red. Just fire, just let a nod to the country. 
and whatnot. So you got your black rubber. Also, just got like a whole bunch of lines for your grip. Your little cloud logo there. You have your speed. I can't really see that. Speed board. And then it says on right here. You got your on branding there. And then you get your cloud tech here. So it's just like you can see right through it. So you got little ridges on the heel portion area. You got a little heel counter back here above that. It's a little plastic piece here. And then you have this upper that gives off like a prime net upper, but it is not prime net like giving. It is more of just a, you know, uh, a knitted pattern and then your inside has this um, like a little bit of it's more durable feeling than your prime knit fly knit whatever material but it, it gives off that feeling it's, if it had less of um, of that material I didn't really check out and start feeling the materials on the other on that they had at the store and I got these from JB at the mall and so, but it has to be their own tech of like, uh, like what I just said, you know, fly knit, prime knit. And, you know, it's got this nice little pattern on the upper, which are stripes. And they're calling this Eclipse and Undyed White. So, so you got this like piece here that's like a little plastic piece. And so it, it has like this cut out here right there and has this whole like support system there a little different in the medial than your lateral there as this here is giving so this does actually have some kind of function to like lock you in there so yeah that's the whole like cage system setup got this little piece right here keep you locked in as well or it's just for design purposes I'm not 100% sure as this looks like you could run in these it's like a little runner but it's not a real runner or anything like that just more of a lifestyle to me it gives off a vibe when I'm looking at it as here by the lacing system there was like this Puma that had this kind of like lacing system I don't remember the name of it but it does and then you have your your lacing set up here so you got the same piece that's here right here got a little imported on zigzag stitching as well as here it's a little bit more wider there and then you have your oval lace real thin oval lace you got some more of that velcro style thing here without the strap that that like it's more of i don't know just a durable material here it's usually a stuff that has like i said the velcro and you have a ballistic tongue here it feels nice and durable the inside feels a little bit more softer it has a split tongue, but not complete like you normally see in ASICs, the Gel Light 3. So there's like a little gap there. And you could actually hide your laces there if you want. If you like to hide your laces and you just want to show off the sneaker like that. So that's a nice little design. I like that. I like the design shape, how it goes like that. I like the whole design thing. And I like how this has the on, O, N there. So that's fire. This looks like it has a reflective 3M there, as well as the heel. And I don't think so here, but it could be. You know, I have to hit it with the 3M. And your sock liner feels like it's like a neoprene booty, but just more of the heel area. I took out the insole, you can see the footbed there stitching pattern going on there and here's your insole nice breathable a lot of perforations going on throughout yeah so 
give you that that comfort and they do put a cardboard shoe tree a little nice and it says on too so they uh they're doing their thing with these so really like this colorway actually thinking about getting this colorway i've been looking at the silhouettes and colorways and there's a lot that i like like i said the roger federer one but this one you know this is a woman's pair as i got this from jd and you know it's a nice little sleek design i like what on is up to and you know i don't know when they came out but um but it's good that you know they're in the market and you know pushing it you know not just your regular new balance pumas asics diadora reebok nike adidas you know they're in there they're in there they're, they're here here to stay they got a cool uh silhouette thing going on uh comfort and uh price points so yeah i'm feeling on and we'll soon be copping my pair so be on the lookout for that but yeah youtube just wanted to bring you this review there it is so as we reach the end of the video i had some news and my wife wore these and it left the mark this piece here as i said this whole cage system and uh yeah i left the mark and she can't wear these so she said the, the fit was good but just that lock down here pressing left the mark on her foot so she liked the comfort everything was good the design everything but yeah so now nah, i'm gonna get her a different pair so yeah be on the lookout if you're uh, trying to get these and you got problems um with uh, uh, the top of your foot being pushed down for that lockdown effect and it'll be leaving your imprint so not everybody's gonna have this problem my wife has the problem so yeah youtube hope you enjoyed this review it's your boy logan j signing out peace